Greetings, my dear friends, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are on the trail of Riki, one of those responsible for the Neuhof Farm Massacre. All we know is that he lived somewhere around Ledechko. Which is where we are now. So, let's park pebbles. Passing. Ah, innkeeper. Just the gentleman I. Ah, innkeeper. Just the gentleman I wanted to see. God be with you, good sir. Or not, because I don't really care what's happening around here. Okay. Fine. You. Who are you? A watchman. You might be perfect. Good day to you. What do you need? Uh, you know a dude called Riki. Looking for a fellow called Riki. You know? Riki? You mean Hinnick? The courier's son. Maybe. Do you know where I might find him? He's not usually around here. Try asking at his home. But I hope you've got a thick skin. The old courier ain't exactly charming. Okay. Do you know Reiki? Can you tell me anything about him? So you know this Hinnock? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanner. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. Mm-hmm. What's his father like, then? What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. And they call Hinek Riki why, exactly? Why do they call Hinek Riki, anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough, but not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Hinnick's nature's no sweeter than his smell. And how come he has such a bad reputation? Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm, well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhoff, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies, and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Fair enough, but there must be someone that talks to him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. Woo! Level up in speech. Adela, I believe she's called. Okay, Adela the Bathhouse Wench is my next lead. Stop showing us Skalitz's map all the time. Of all the places I don't need to see, that is definitely one of them. Okay, um, I'm about there-ish, I think. That's the bathhouse. And that's his father. Okay. Okay, 
Fair enough. Bathhouse first. Oh. I should check to see. Oh, okay. I've still got four savior snaps. That's all right. Though I should probably make some more. Fairly soon. Well, I never. Didn't you? Is there something you need? God be with you. Okay, so do you know Reiki? Okay, same same questions. Fair enough then. well pick some flowers while we wait because the bathhouse is not open for business yet Marigolds as well. I think I might actually uh, investigate some new clothes. Because why not? Where, oh, because the tailor's not bloody open yet. That's why not. That makes perfect sense. Uh, I didn't actually mean to summon you, Pebbles. Your fucking problem, mate. to be able to sneak a little better.
I should probably consider eating something as well, except I don't have food. That's awkward. Although, Good perfect person to talk to. He's not open for business yet. Don't mind me, just... Is there something you need? Yes, I need you to open your feckin' shop. So I can buy some meat. to talk to aren't you okay hi god be with you do you need anything um yeah i need meat give me meat give me five smoked sausage because why not? And let us haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. Come on, fifteen. Satisfied? It'll take more than that to persuade me. Yeah, I thought so. Fifteen fifty? Since it's you. Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Sixteen, then. Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded. Excellent, thanks. Also, have you heard of Riki? What can you tell me about this, Kinect? What can I tell you? No, he's none too popular. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. Yeah, she's just going to say the same old crap. That's the bailiff, I reckon. He might have something interesting to say about Reiki. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. So you know this hint. Uh, Why is that? Well, no one. Would... Okay. Bathhouse. Because they're undoubtedly. Oh no, Taylor. Because he's clearly open now. Hey. I respect you. Um, trade. First off, I kind of want that black poor pont. And that black scarf. Yeah, why not? Blue combat jupe on. Okay. Let's have a word about the price. I. That's a lot of money. I'll give you a thousand. Satisfied? That's not enough. I didn't think it would be. Thousand and fifty. Are we agreed? I'd almost take on that. 
Almost. Eleven hundred. Aye, that would do it. Fair enough. Okay. New clothes. Whoa. Okay. Um, now I'll keep the Scarlet Swaff and Rock. Taylor's kits. I would like all of them, but also haggling. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Give me three seventy-five. What about this? More. Are we agreed? That's not enough. Finally, a reasonable sum. Ha! That's what I wanted to pay. Um... That's right. Try and fix whatever I can first. Okay, well, that'll do. It has to. That's everything. God grant you health. Um, How may hi. Uh, in a minute, I will, we'll talk later. Are you Adela? Excuse me? Yes. I'll be with you. Do you need anything? You are Adela. You know Riki? I mean Hinek. I heard you've been seeing Hinek the Tannerson. <coughs> Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman? A sinner? That I seduce decent men? Hey, I like women who are sinners that seduce decent men personally. So, no, nothing oh, like God, that. No, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinnick, so I came to ask you about him. I have seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Well, really, I feel that work's work, and she's doing the best she can. Anyway, where is Hinnick? Where can I find Hinnick? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Oh, what a twat. From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't, yeah, you, you do. Uh, look, I'm a friend of his. Look, Hinex is my of. friend, and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares, or other game. So Hinek is a poacher? Well, that's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. 
So when did you see him last? When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Okay, so what did he say that evening? Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. Okay, so what did he say about the money? What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. Oh, did he now? What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. So did you look for it? Did you go there for a look? No, I've got better things to do. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much <coughs> Yes, I understand. So where did he say it is? Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small hold in the western corner. All right, thank you. So no one else would sleep with him. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only because his old man is a grouch and a tanner. I understand. You felt sorry for him. So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinnick thinks differently, <coughs> but that's <coughs> Fair enough. I'll catch you later, Adela. Okay, now. Hello, sir. That's it. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. We'll talk later. believe that's Hinak's old man there. Might as well grab some nettles. So I'm going to need them after all. When I get around to doing the Saviour Schnapps next batch. Um we'll talk later. Is someone there? I said we'll talk later. Who's there? What's going on there? Fifteen Groschen and a Stoidy Gambeson.
Christ be praised. What have you got for sale? Okay, a bunch of skins. What do you want to buy? Well, seems like everything he might want to die... But, uh, die. He might want to buy. I don't want to sell. Although there's silver goblet he can have. And the golden one. Can we do something about the price? Sure. Why not? What about this? Less. How about forty two then? Finally, a reasonable sum. Alrighty. Uh, you have a son called Riki. I'm looking for your son. <coughs> I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hunek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? My name's not Tom, Dick or Harry, it's Henry. Um, who are his friends? Do you at least know any friends <coughs> that to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the bars. Anyway, he's in trouble. Come on. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears, isn't it? But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... Like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. Okay, well tell me about this hideout of Do his. Do you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. I need to know more. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. Well, and you must have noticed something. I know we didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? What about the money he brought home? He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been from me. Alright. I'll ask at the inn then. Alrighty. Thank you. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please try and find him. Something you're looking for here? I will indeed try and find him, and yeah, he's in the poo, putting it mildly. Oh, interesting sight. Oh, 
come on. What is it? Ah! It is a couple of bottles of moonshine! <laughs> Which, admittedly, that's mostly what you find in those interesting sites. But that's fine. actually want to play Farkle right now. Fearless Felix. Hi, mate. So you know this Hinnock. Can you tell me something about uh, <coughs> Not much. I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that he can keep back coming. Okay. Ah. There you are, innkeeper. Hard to save you. What can I do for you? Uh, first off, I need a place to sleep, or it would be nice. Just sleep here. All right. For how long? Uh, forever. Sure. Let's see your coin first. These are our diamonds. Uh, fine, two hundred. You You'll like it here, like sleeping on a cloud. It is. Yes, yeah, what every other inn says. So tell me about Riki. Want to ask about the courier's son, Hinnock? Or ask someone else. They've nothing to do with Riki. He only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you anyway? A friend of Hinnock's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. <sighs> okay, so you are aware buying from poachers is a crime. But first, Hinnock owes you something. About the goods we he owes you. What about it? Well, supposing I settle the account for him and you stop dodging my questions and tell me what I want to know. I suppose that would be all right. How much is it? Before he vanished, I paid him in advance for five heirs. That many? I'm not going to run around the woods all day chasing hares. Then you're about as much use to me as Riki. Yeah, but buying from poachers is a crime, though. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game for him. It's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. Give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. <coughs> Fine. So, what do you want to know? How much game did he bring you? How much game did he bring you? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry has something. Otherwise, it ends up in sausages. Fair enough. When's... Well, when? Where is his hideout? I hear Hinnock has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But... What I happen to know is a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin and got it, so he had to have a light for that. Okay, where is there a, where are the local mine shafts and shit? A 
caves. Talk to me, man. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Alrighty. Whoa, this is our room. Um, my stashing. Don't need that. Don't really need that either. Okay. Dude was dressed exactly like Milan. Now, where are we looking? There's one to the south of town, one to the west of town, and one to the northeast. Now, I am pretty sure it's the northeast one. Pretty sure. Hey, pebbles. Come on, me horse. Uh, also. Nom on some more sausage later. Pretty sure going the right way. Yes. Because if you look closely, oh, very closely, there are the shrines that I just unlocked. So we're following that road there, up here, and then we'll hang a left at the stream. Yeah. Sounds like a reasonable plan to me. So I'm sure Hinnak also has fellas out after him. <coughs> Everyone has fellas out after them. And 
another interesting sight. Uh, I think it's... Yeah. Oh look, more moonshine. Oh, actually. The stream is where we're heading upstream. At least along the side of the stream. I might have gone too far already. It's hard to tell when you can't actually keep track of your own location on the map. It's the only part of this hardcore mode that I find occasionally frustrating. floating stick. More floating sticks. Okay, maybe I hadn't gone too far then yet. Okay, fine. Back up the hill. It's a nice day for a walk. Henry enjoys a good hike every now and then. I don't know. It'll be fine anyway. Bastard, the utter knave.
clacking thing is actually a waypoint. I'm sure, because somebody actually does know something about where this thing is, I'm sure of it. I don't know. Anyway. It's in more. Aha, I think I've just found it. Inek? Is there an Inek in here? expect any useful advice from you. At least you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men. No. Oh. Then who are you? Well, I'm here at the behest of Sir Radzig. I come here in the name of Sir Radzig Kabrilla and Sir Hanish of Lightburn. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. Got no idea what you're on about. <laughs> if you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine, then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realized what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard. Well, they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, the runt gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything but move, then we knew there was no going back. Well, runt is a thing that rhymes with runt. But, uh, tell me something about your gang. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Father. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Yeah, not anymore, clearly. So who put you in contact with Runt? Who got your two gangs together? <coughs> Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. 
I'm holed up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. So where are Timmy and Pius, then? Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. But Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he worked. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuheim. Okay. So tell me about Runt's gang. Tell me about Runt's gang. Sorry. You know any of Runt's people? Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a word. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt. And Pius warned us to watch out for him. Yeah, fair enough. Where are they? I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid. On the way to Neuheim, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. So where is it? Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Okay. So tell me about the raid then. In detail. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smilled, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams, quicker than you'd believe. Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't. Well, no, clearly. Not in the least. You what? saw the aftermath of that place, Henry. Um, gaping and smell. Stuck through and through. And I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him with his bodkin in his hand and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Run shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go. So we scarpered. And afterwards? What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so we didn't know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away. <coughs> they knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. Started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Run. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so bucket from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. Mm-hmm. Well, that will do for now, I think. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well...
stolen them. Fuck. At least they didn't wind here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Lucky. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. Okay. First off, saving the damn game. Why? Was my sword not equipped? No, not the bow! Okay, well, it was a good job I just saved it. I don't really care that Reiki's dead. Honestly. No, that's not the best I can do. That was terrible.
Okay, fine. I'll just stick to the damn sword then. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell happened there. Seemed like Reiki was doing better than me then, which, you know, good for him. Okay, let's bandage my shit up, at the very least, and down a marigold decoction, because I need one, at least, one, bread, bandage, money!
I don't know what happened to Reiki. I don't think he'll have survived. Alas, poor Reiki. Let's loot you. Oh well. Rest in pizza. combat though. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. the bridge near where I found the moonshine second batch of moonshine which was in there okay pebbles okay I am going to take a quick break Shall return shortly. You won't even notice me missing. Okay, I'm back. I have caffeine. Now. Aha, that's where Timmy is. And we're about here. Okay. Yeah. Reach to a halt. Oh, 
least there's some honey in one of those beehives. <coughs> now we'll need that burnt wood from that person's farm later. Really hoping for no dodginess on the road. If there's going to be any, it's going to be up here. Okay, this looks like one fella travelling by his lonesome. Which is fine. I think I've just kind of come out here. And I think what I'm going to do is head to the inn. I know it's completely the opposite direction, but it's somewhere I can save the game without wasting a savage snaps. Yeah. And I can heal up at the same time, because I can rest. Although now I'm feeling that I've taken a wrong turn. haven't taken a wrong turn at all, because here we are. That'll do, Pebbles. Good horse. <clears throat> Alrighty. Middle room. Can we stuff in here? Um, we'll stuff the villagers' ash bow in there because I think we can use the uh, hazel one. Um, put some moonshine away. Okay.
I bet I wake up somewhere very, very, very far away. Like, wake up in Rat Isle somewhere. I fucking knew it. Where the hell am I? Hey, fella. What's the matter, Luffy? Need a shit? Okay, now I don't actually know where the hell I am. Which is perhaps problematic. But I got that guy's money, so huzzah. Blood will spill. Shit! What's the matter? Come on! <laughs> What's the matter is you fellas are trying to kill me. And there's a lot of you, Jesus. And your dog. Yeah, fair. That's, um, or rather unfair. That's awkward. Okay. Okay, well this guy's going this way now. I hate it when I'm right about um, waking up miles away from where I went to bed. What the hell am I doing? Summon Pebbles! Hello, Pebbles! As soon as I work out where this is...
It's fucking Ujits. <laughs> I jokingly suggested Ratai as the place stupidly far away that I might end up waking up near, but no, it's Back in Ujits, which is well, let's see. I was there. Oh, roughly the same sort of distance, really. Yeah. But god damn it. Really, though, who's it? And now I'm not on a road. That's a road. Actually, not entirely sure which way from Ujits I'm going, but that's fine. We'll work this out as we go along. I just know that my horse is following a road because Pebbles am smart, smarter than me. Precisely where I am. Have some monch from the pot. And maybe another bit of a rest. Unlikely to wake up somewhere interesting now, but you never know. It's always a possibility. Crash out for two hours, wander off to Scallets. <sighs> so a lot of wasted bunny. Hey, hang on. It's my old green shirt. I'll take that back, thank you. Okay. Not that I'm planning on wearing the damn shirt. I just wanted it back, that's all. Because it was my shirt. Um, okay. Bread... Chewing bread stolen from some dude. Okay. Now. To get to Timmy's from here. <laughs> okay.
Well, the sun is coming up. It's the irony of me actually wanting to rest at the inn and then go and rest at the inn and wake up in Ujits or near Ujits. I just wanted a save point that was closest to the damn flippin' quest. Now we're back at Neunhof again. <laughs> Sorry, Pebbles. Riding him a bit too hard. Okay, now. Sure, this one goes right there. It does not. No, that's um, yeah, not where I want to go after all. Let's go this way instead. Aha! Uh -huh. Henry knows where he's going. Even if the dude controlling him is a bit slow sometimes. No, it's fine. what happens with Ultimate Hardcore Henry. Once you start doing the sleepwalking thing when you're in the middle of questage Well, look, there's one one benefit at least. This is increasing my horsemanship skill. And now we're back at the inn. And quite honestly, that was enough of a dick around but I'm going to go and sleep Flippin' campground 
through Neuhof back all the way here. No point whatsoever. You're just not allowed to be tired at the end of it. Um, okay. We want the left path. Yeah. Discovered burnt out farm and shrine. Ah, that must be there. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Confirmation going the right way. Just what we need. Okay, now, anyway, because of the uh, ultra decking around earlier with my nighttime wanderings, I'm going to just save this here and we will get on the search for Timmy another time. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this roundabout running around, and farewell for now. <laughs>